Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here to do a random collective reading and I'm going to freestyle it, right? Kind of do whatever I want. We're just going to go with it, see what we get. Um, so this reading is for the collective. It's not going to be for all of you, okay? Just take what does resonate and toss out the rest, right? You don't, you don't want to force it into your world, okay? And uh, thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything across the board, man. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Okay, I'm just going to take the split because that's what I feel like doing here. I feel like someone has been watching you, okay? They're watching you out here maybe be super happy. They know that you're their wish fulfillment, Okay, yes, this is the truth. I feel like you've got a stalker. They may want to communicate with you. They know that you're the one that they want. They know that they can have wish fulfillment. This is like this is like a dream life, okay? You could already be living this, right? I feel like this person's been enlightened enlightened. They can clearly see that they could have a dream life with you. The Ten of Cups, that's ultimate wish fulfillment. Um, keeping their feelings hidden, their passion hidden, I feel, from a Queen of Wands. Or, yeah, from a Queen of Wands. They may even be hiding the fact that they could have gotten an STD here. I feel like they're, try they're trying to learn things about you. I feel like when this person came forward towards you before, they had really immature energy. They were in and out. They weren't ready for love. They weren't ready for a commitment. I feel like they just wanted to play around and cut you off. Okay, that's kind of, I feel like, what this person did. And they got with the Queen of Wands here um, for passion. All right, they could be hiding this if they have maybe somebody on the side. But they're watching you. They're trying to study you, I feel. You're in the Empress energy. Um, very abundant. Every queen in the deck out here living your best life. And they're like studying you, okay? To try to figure out how you're doing this. Yeah, I feel like this person went and gave to, to other people, but you handled it like... You handled it like a boss, okay? I feel like you haven't been speaking to this person. You've been standing in your, in your um, strong, in your boundaries, in your power, right? Strength. You could be dealing with the Leo or you could be a Leo here. But this person went to give to somebody else, and I feel like they toyed with you. They were immature with you. They may have used you and then blocked communication, right? And they've been refusing to see the truth like this person has been in denial is what I'm feeling like. They're, they've been in denial, playing with an, a queen of wands here in a sexual relationship that they may be trying to hide while they think about you. All right, what else do we have here, divine? Yeah. This person played too many kid games with you, man, and you're you're an empress. You know, they came in, they used you, they toyed around with you, you know, and then they blocked you. They blocked communication or somebody did, and then they sat in denial, not wanting to take that blindfold off, not wanting to see the truth. They're seeing it now. They're seeing it now. Um, what their behavior, yeah, look, they're seeing it now. They're seeing things from a whole new perspective. You could be dealing with a Pisces, an Aquarius, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But yeah, this is, I feel like they may have gotten themselves stuck here with this uh, Queen of Wands energy, whoever it is that they're with in a sexual relationship, I feel. And... Um, they're being enlightened, though. They're seeing things from a different perspective. They're upside down in this because they've been in denial. They've been procrastinating. This is kind of procrastination at its finest here. Almost. <laughs> right? One more card and we'll have it at its finest. But um, they're being enlightened. This is being enlightened. This is being enlightened. This is being enlightened. 
as to, you know, knowing they could have this perfect life and an ultimate wish fulfillment with you, the Empress. They're watching you like a hawk. Online, uh, this person could be even stalking you, like kind of all over the place. Definitely seeing things from a different perspective now. And they've been like hanging here thinking about this for so long. Yeah, I feel like this person could have even gotten themselves committed in a toxic relationship with the Queen of Wands. I'm telling you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with an Earth sign or a Capricorn here. But yeah, <sighs> It's almost like they ruined their chance at a brand new abundant beginning with an empress and instead they chose to get committed. I feel like they have a commitment with someone toxic. This is a toxic energy here. They brought things to an <clears throat> excuse me, they brought things to an end with you. Yeah, they could have had this. They could have had a beautiful brand new beginning. If they want this new beginning, something's got to end. But I feel like they gave their new beginning to, to somebody who's toxic. And they turned their back on an empress. <laughs> Not a real smart move. I think this person knows it. They know it. All right, what else can you show me here for the person watching? It's kind of the same, guys, I know the energy repeats and repeats, but it's because, you know, we can only pick up on the messages that the divine gives us. And if that's the energy at the time, you know, things change subtle, very subtly. But, um, you know, we, I, I feel like we all can't wait to kind of break free from this kind of past energy, right? Yeah. I feel like this person missed their chance at um, a, an abundant brand new beginning and real love when they turned their back on you for the devil. That's what they did. They turned their back on you and went to a karmic, I feel, in a toxic situation. Now they feel stuck because they could have gotten married and committed to this person. I feel like the divine is saying this isn't over. I got to say... I feel like the divine is saying this isn't over. Clarify this. Clarify temperance and the Ace of Cups. You could even be getting a new soulmate coming in, new love. High Priestess energy. Yeah. This person wants to reunite. They're coming in to talk to you. Um, you're very, very intuitive. Okay, you're sitting here, <laughs> you're sitting here in the Empress throne in high priestess energy. Okay, um, yeah, extremely, extremely intuitive. I feel like this isn't over, and I feel like someone's flying in here to talk to you. I'm telling you, this they've been holding this sword wanting to talk to you for a long time, but the page of swords. They, in this energy, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to communicate that info, right? They're, at this stage, they're just watching you. Now this person is stepping up a little bit to the Knight of Swords, the fastest moving knight in the deck, coming in fast to um, give you the communication, the truth, right? Now this truth could hurt. Okay, they may tell you they've gotten married here, or they, they could tell you that they want this love and they want to reunite. What do we have here? But they're coming in to talk. Yeah, wanting to change things around. They want to change things around. This person's coming in fast, really fast, coming at you from the side. <laughs> Wanting to do whatever they can to change the situation around. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn. That's just too many cards. You're their Six of Cups. They don't want to miss this. 
They want to get together, party, celebrate with you. They want to get to, this is a happy card. They want to get together, party, celebrate with you and make you this offer, okay? This is the offer you've been waiting for for a long time. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. They want to drop these freaking burdens, I'm telling you. This fell out on the floor, right, in reverse. All of these are in reverse, too. They want to get you out of this mental prison here. I feel like this person wants to just reverse everything. They, they, they want to try to reverse everything. They want to change everything around. Where are you? Here you are. Yeah, with this magician energy and make it make all of this crap right. The the crappy fish cup that they offered you in the beginning that really didn't have anything in it. The fact that they sabotaged this or somebody else did, they want to make that right. They want to get you out of this mental prison that you've been in. They don't want to be in that energy anymore either. They want this with you. They're six of cups. They're Ace of Cups. They're Earth Angel here. Okay, they missed that opportunity. See that one cup there? They missed out on that. Or they are missing out on that. There it is, that Ace of Cups. They want it back. They want you back. Okay, you're all this person freaking thinks about. This is nostalgia, but this is like nonstop. I feel knowing that whatever they chose it's just it didn't work out and now this person they're about to come forward yep communication I'm telling you they want to communicate this person's taking action they want to try to right all the wrongs where's the split yeah they're, they're bossing up in and out energy, I feel like this is somebody who may want to keep something secret. They've lied to you. They've had, this is somebody who's very capable of being deceptive. Okay, so use your discernment with everyone who approaches you, right? Ask the questions that you need to ask. Um, Because I feel like this person could very well be committed still. I do not see them... Uh, leaving something here. I mean, they could be ending something here to have a new beginning, but I see them still bound and stuck with the devil, actually. Sitting here brooding and kicking rocks over th that things did, aren't working out here with whatever they chose, right? So for some of you, this person has left a karmic. For others of you, they have not. Use your discernment. Ask those questions, right? Because I feel like this person is coming towards you. They, I mean, yeah, I feel like they're coming towards you. <laughs> it's just taking them a long time, okay? They're in a lot of regret here. They know, like I said, third-party situation crap. They turn their back on you. They're hiding how they feel. They're very ashamed. They're very embarrassed with their, with their decisions. And just freaking sad. They're just sad. They're like um, depressed. Because they, one, they can't stop thinking about you. And two, they know they got wrapped up with the devil. Yeah. They're about to miss this opportunity at greatness here, I feel. Because you're out here winning and having this wish fulfillment kind of life anyway without them. Okay? That's what you're doing. And they're watching you. This person may feel kind of like um, a bit betrayed by that. Okay? Yeah, because you're out here freaking winning. I feel like this is you. As soon as they find out how abundant you are, that kind of kicks them in the gut. That's the feeling that I'm getting. This is a sudden realization that you really don't need them. That's what it is. It's a sudden realization that now, now after all of this, you've put so much effort into yourself that you really just don't need them anymore. You know, and you're extremely abundant. You've almost got 10 pentacles here already just for you. 
doing something creative, something that you love, something that's making you happy. Okay? And you're really focused. You're not focused on this person anymore. Um, they Honestly, they're, they're, I feel like their focus is on you so much that that, that that may be the downfall. That may cause the downfall of this toxic situation. They're just realizing that you're the one. I don't know what else to say. They're realizing that you're the one. You've always been the one. And look at how crappy they treated you. Yeah, tower moment, right? Page of Pentacles in because they stopped freaking talking to you. There's been, they didn't give you anything stable, not even the smallest little freaking crumb. They realize that now. They realize it's going to take, you know, uh, a Knight of Cups coming in. I feel like, um, I feel like they have a lot to atone for. If you, if you are still in Queen of Swords energy, this person stabbed you in the back and you've been, you have been just wanting the truth. You've, you've been wanting to hear the truth about what happened because I feel like this person didn't give you anything. They didn't even give you um, the consideration of any kind of truth or clarity in, in any of this at all. And now they want to come back in. Now they're seeing that you're the one for them, that they could have had all of this with you and you're out here winning and you don't need them anymore. You're an empress energy very abundant yeah it's like a kick in the gut it's like a kick in the gut for this person that's what i should name it it's like a kick in the gut that's the feeling that i got when this tower card came out anyway it was like oh the person i let go i mean it was like this the person i let go doesn't need me anymore. They've got everything that they could possibly really want right now. They're growing something of their own. You could have started a business. You're every queen in the deck. You're feeling good. You're looking good. And you're focused on you. That's a big kick in the gut for somebody who walked away from you for something toxic. You know, you see my point? Yeah, they know they... Uh, They've got to open up and tell you how they feel about you if they're going to repair the damage of stabbing you in the back. And you're not going to take anything less than the absolute truth from this person. Or you're going to cut them out of your world without batting an eyelash because you've grown over this. You know what I mean? You've grown out of it. You've grown over it. You're... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all eyes are on you. It's been made absolutely clear to this person. It's been made absolutely clear to this person. You're the star. You're the star. You're the one. You're, you've got special abilities here. You're healing um, other people, being a guide for others. You're in the public eye. You could actually be a star. You're looking sexy, looking good, taking good care of yourself, right? Very abundant, shining like a freaking diamond, and your wish fulfillment here. This is their wish, is you. Everything's coming out into the light. Also, if they want to heal this with you, they've got to be completely honest. But I'm seeing this as this is the divine calling attention to you. So that people know what they missed out on. So that they learn their lessons. Right? Not to underestimate somebody with a loving, nurturing, healing heart. I feel like the divine is calling attention onto you here. And it, it helps show these people exactly what they missed out on. All right, what, what else can you show me here for my collective? Give me one more card. Yeah, you're, um, you're out here glowing because that's part of the plan. They need to be able to see you, right? And I feel like this person could be broke. Definitely juggling you with someone else. 
juggling the idea of whether or not they should come towards you or not because you're out here being a star. And I feel like their situation could be under judgment here. All kinds of secrets are coming out. You're being shown to the world here in star energy. And now this person, they realize as all this fog rolls back, they can see all the options they had for what they really were, including you, the one who's freaking glowing with abilities, with strengths given to you by the divine, okay? You know who you are, right? You're glowing, this one, you, the one they tried to cover up with a dirty sheet, the one they tried to hide, the one they didn't want to think about, the one they didn't want to confront. That's you. You're the one glowing. You're the one who is the most abundant. I'm telling you, it's all being made absolutely clear to your.